What I have there is a cup of native arbutus berries. These are madrona berries that I picked up in the park. We have lots of them here too, but there was a easy access ones in Centennial Park today. So I picked them up and what I'm going to do is just sow them. And if you want them to grow in certain areas, that's what you do. These ones I grew from seed many years ago, just threw the berries on the ground. And like I say, they are a native tree. They're a broadleaf evergreen in this part of Canada. And they need exact requirements to grow. So extremely fast draining soil. And these are growing in sandstone and shale. So we just throw the seeds around like that, the berries. In each berry there are seeds. And these little trees, these little seeds in here, will uh, sprout in the spring. So it's fall right now. We're quite a ways through October. And just broadcast them around like that. Throw a few more up here. Got eucalyptus growing in here too. And we will have a whack load of Arbutus trees growing. And I love them. They're the nicest native tree you can ever imagine. Deer like them too, unfortunately, when they're small. And even big if they can reach the leaves. So you live in a similar growing zone and you have native arbutus trees and you want them to grow, you do that. In the fall, get the berries and you spread them around. And uh, well, that one's been in the ground for over 20 years, probably about 25 years now. And hydro prunes it back all the time because it's getting up into the wires. Another one there. So I've grown many from seed over the years. They are beautiful, amazing trees that flower in the spring and produce these orange berries in the fall. All right, try that, folks. It's easy. Thanks for watching.